Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is going to show you how XREFs work and an XREF is an external reference to another file and the example I'm going to use in this one is I've got a very very simple floor plan drawn of a motel and I'm going to reference in a separate file just for the guest rooms so as you can see I've already got an office space, reception area, a lobby, then I've got this long hallway where all the rooms are going to go and then another wall here. And I've got some reference lines here uh, just to show me where the exterior borders are. So XREFs are really easy to use. I'm just going to type in XR for XREF and it'll bring up the XREF palette and what it'll do is it'll show okay I've already got one drawing in here and that's this one right here so that's my master file and what I want to do is add another one in and this is used in big projects um, anytime there's components that need to be worked on separately from the main drawing so what I've got here is a typical motel room drawing. You can see the preview of it. It's just very basic. And so I'm just going to hit open. And now it's attach external reference dialog box. And this is pretty much like inserting a block. And in fact, you could insert a block as this, but uh, X references will give you a little bit more power to work with. And so where I want to put it is right here and this is all showing in the uh, oops I'll just cancel out of that so I'm just gonna close this for a second and now there's my room and uh, what I can do is change the uh, fading on it or the visibility so that it uh, shows up as clear as the other one or I can make it uh, a little bit lighter so that I know exactly what are XREFs and what isn't and you can see there the difference between the walls and the uh, main building so that's that's with zero fading and 90 percent fading where it's just barely a ghost image so let's leave it in around 36 percent so now to fill this up I'm just gonna mirror this one room over Then I'm going to mirror these two rooms over. And then I'm going to mirror these four rooms over. And there's the top half. That's one side of the hallway done. So now I'm just going to mirror all of these right down to the bottom. And I'm going to use my M2. P O snap so it's between here and so there's my mirror line straight down the middle of the hallway and done so I've already got the text in to tell me which room is which and basically we're done here as far as XREFs go now if I type in XR again and you can see that I can attach another file if I want if I choose unload that just gets rid of it you can see how they disappeared from my drawing but yet the file is still listed here so I can just I can just right click and reload it and there that there, there all the rooms come back in including the ones I copied and mirrored over if I wanted to get rid of it entirely, let's say for example I brought in the wrong file, then I would use detach, but I don't want to do that right now because I'd have to bring them in and re-mirror and waste your time watching that again. And if I choose bind, what that will do is make all of the X references part of the main drawing. That's basically similar to exploding a block where everything becomes uh, just regular objects at that point 
So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to close this and I'm going to open up my typical hotel room drawing. And let's say someone's decided that they want an extra chair in the room. So I've just mirrored that over. And if I go over to the master floor plan, it'll look like nothing's changed. You can see there's still just the one room there. But as soon as I go back into the single room, and I'm just going to hit save, control S. So now that it's saved, if I go back in, what I'll need to do is go back into XREF. And I can reload it. And there's my second chair. Now the other thing you might see in some cases is a window popping up down here. And you can't always rely on it. Um, in this case, you know, it just takes some time to load up. But in this example, if I knew that there is a newer version of the room drawing, then it's easy enough to do. So this is just like updating a block and redefining it, except this person can just keep working on it and they don't have to tell me what they're doing. You know, maybe they're uh, putting in a, you know, another dresser. And uh, once again, as soon as you hit save, come back in here and here's the window popping up. So I just need to hit reload and there we go so it's a very quick way for a lot of people to collaborate on a drawing and it's uh, very powerful if you're working on big projects this could be used in architecture uh, mechanical uh, civil pretty much every field is going to use xrefs at some point so it's very important you learn how they work and how to use them so if you're going to learn, uh, follow at my CAD site, tutorial number 4-7. And I'll have some, some other examples in there that you can uh, work with as well. Thanks for watching. This is mycadsite.com.